I see the role of a CMO to be very focused around uh, innovation and uh, bringing new ideas both internally and externally to the, to the company. Um, and also in that innovation, a very serious commitment to leadership. So obviously leading the, the marketing team, but also providing leadership in the areas of marketing skills and capability to the rest of the executive management team in the setting of the, the company strategy. I also think there's a, a marriage in there between the process aspects of the business and the creativity uh, aspects of the business. So there's a creative angle for sure, you know, that's what marketing, you know, is really known for. Um, but I think it also needs to be very tightly married to the metrics and the measurements and, the, and more a process feel if you're going to get the most and, and the best you possibly can from your marketing investment. I think there's a degree of sophistication that's happened over the last, you know, five, ten years in, in you know, the minds of buyers and that, you know, whether that's a consumer or whether that's a, you know, a multi-million dollar business decision. Your loyalty to the brand or your decision to purchase from a particular company is much more based on emotion and I think there is a place of demand from customers where they say, you know, I want to know more about your business, I want to know uh, more about how you're going to treat me, I, I want to know what the relationship's going to be like, not just what the product is and what the price is and where, where can I buy it. There's two key things. One is the development of core marketing talent and skills. It's really hard to find the right skills and it's very challenging to develop those skills to the right level of talent across an organization, a large organization of marketing people. So I think that's a very sort of internally uh, focused thing. The second point is when you look at all the information that's available for marketeers, it's very hard to figure out what to measure. So do you measure you know, the number of hits your website got or do you measure something less, a lot less uh, tangible like the customer loyalty index or value uh, of your brand and everything in between. You know, there, there are hundreds and hundreds of things you can measure. But which ones are key? Which ones do you pick? Which ones do you run your business on? I think is a really challenging point. I think it's really interesting watching, you know, marketing departments over the, over the years in the, in the roles that I've had as a CMO is that People always say they don't have enough time to do the creative stuff, the important stuff. And I think that you need to sort of take that excuse away. If you bring technology to the, to the marketing world, you automate more steps in the process, you make your people more productive, they have better insight, they have more time. They have more time to do the creative thought and go through the creative process that makes them be better marketeers and makes hopefully you know, your company more successful in its, you know, in its value proposition and what it offers. So you need to have an approach, a methodology to reviewing the metrics, to uh, inputting to the creativity, whatever it is, and you need to write it down and you need to say we're going to do this weekly and we're going to do this monthly and we're going to do this every quarter or whatever it may be and this every year. I think there has to be a management system and a discipline that keeps people on track and asks the right questions of them on a regular, you know, consistent basis. Success, I think, in the broadest uh, sort of context here for a CMO is, uh, is, is the company's revenue, is, are its sales figures, are its, are its profitability figures, are they heading in the direction that the CEO and the executive team and the board want you to go. You know, success is when a salesperson comes to me and says, I love what you're doing, you're doing the right stuff, and not only that, but I'm, I'm hitting my targets, I'm hitting my quota. Um, I'm being successful, you know, the company it feels good, it feels like we're a market leader, you know, it feels to me, you know, both subjectively as a, as a salesperson, but also objectively in terms of, you know, my quota, that I'm doing a good job and that I'm being successful. That for me as a CMO is the ultimate test and, and I think that's what we've got at Kofax. Mm -hmm.